Hi everyone and welcome. We're down here in my wormery and as you can see there's a vacate, vacant spot here on my shelf. On the top shelf there's only a couple sheets of cardboard and that's because one of my bins, the uh, oldest of my regular plastic tubs, is not here. It's being used for a little test that I wanted to conduct. It's a um, it's a test where I actually created replacement paper and cardboard lids with a hole cut into the middle of it. So down here beneath the stairs behind the curtain is this sort of semi-illuminated room, somewhat dark room actually, um, where I'm running a time lapse of this bin. And you can see that this bin has this strange plastic uh, dome over it. And you can see it's all steamed up with condensation. The, uh, the paper underneath has been uh, customized to allow for the rest of the material in the bin to be covered and for uh, just that one section with the dome to be poking through the covering. Um, the whole idea of this test was to see if the condensation that I knew would collect on the container would draw worms. And I, I had envisioned all that moisture piled up on the, the walls would be something that the worms would be really, really attracted to. So in the darkness over there is a GoPro camera running all of the footage, the time lapse, shooting a frame every two minutes and uh, capturing what happens over time in this setup. So the camera photographing the time lapse is controlled through Wi-Fi through the GoPro app. So here you can see I'm running a time lapse, a night lapse photo session. Um, 7 meg megapixel resolution, 20 second exposures every 2 minutes, medium field of view. Um, I just turned the app on, you can already see it's captured one frame since I've turned the app on. But the only reason I turned the app on was so I can shut the camera itself off so that we can collect the uh, the footage that's been accumulating here for the past three days with this sort of dark lighting scenario um, filming the condensation dome. So I'm shutting the camera off now. I just heard it go beep. So it's safe to go inside and uh, and take the camera down and collect the uh, collect the footage that it shot. So here's the dome itself turn the overhead light on now that the time lapse is done I had imagined that this thing would be full of worms cruising around but I've never seen even one so the time lapse um, I shot a few days ago the first three days with the brighter lights overhead shows the water vapor gradually collecting and eventually dripping down on the walls of the plastic container making it easier to see through but still even though you could see through there are no worms clearly on the uh, on the walls or even cruising around on the surface of the compost but the second one that we shot, in a darker environment, here it was just adjusted for the brightness in the video editor, shows um, very similar results. On the top, I even tried to put ice cubes on the surface. And as they were melting, uh, I thought that the coolness would kind of speed up the condensation and dripping. And it seemed like it might have helped a bit, but it's hard to tell. But um, the one thing that was different with the darker environment was down on the surface of the material, it is clear to see that the worms are not as bashful to come out and to cruise around on the surface and to enjoy the the moisture collecting on the compost from the condensation coming down. So it was just interesting to see, but not quite the results I was expecting. So I think that means it's the end of this test. It's time to remove this custom cover and take off the dome. You can see it's a little damper right where this was because of the moisture that collected. A little bit got stuck on the walls, but at no point did I ever see any worms wanting to cruise up onto the side of it. It's a little bit of a mystery to me too, because I, I, I would have almost bet a nickel to say that there probably is going to be worms cruising up onto the onto the surface of the container, but um, but I guess not. I wonder why. I wonder if anyone's if anyone's out there's got any ideas as to why or what I could have done differently to try to um, you know, actually get the worms to do that to go up onto the glass then that would be interesting to know as well so all right so i'm going to put this thing back up on the shelf and um get it ready to be fed because it's been eight days since this bin was last fed as was the rest of my other bins so it's feeding time today
with that, I think we're back to business as usual with this newest of my bins. So got to got to be part of an interesting little test for a short while. While all the other bins were simply composting, we got a little chance to try a little experiment, a little condensation experiment with this one. Um, but since it didn't really go as expected, you know, I'd be interested in trying to reproduce something similar. Um, so I'll be thinking about how I might be able to do this again at some point in the future, if possible. So for now, that's it. That's it for my little test. And uh, even though it wasn't, wasn't much to see, <laughs> it definitely answered some questions that I, you know, I had in my head. I, I was almost certain that if there was going to be water vapor on the surface of that see-through plastic container, that the worms would come for it. But since they didn't, um, it just kind of changes my way of thinking in terms of how the worms actually behave. So, all right, everyone. That's it for today. Hopefully you enjoyed this little experiment, this test. Uh, if you liked the video, please remember to give me a thumbs up, because I really appreciate that. And uh, also consider becoming a subscriber to the channel. That's always really appreciated as well. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye now.